everybody, take off all your clothes. It's Thursday. Not us. Not us. That's folks at home. That's a folks oh, at home sorry. situation. Mm. Yeah. Shit. If you're listening ah, to this, this program right now. with clothes on, uh, you're probably you're doing it wrong. Yeah. 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 Podcast clothed. Listen to podcast naked. That's what the T-shirt says. Yeah. Uh, but you may not be able to read the T-shirt after you've taken your clothes off and have thrown it into a heap of clothing. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. That's uh, it's important That's to have how it. How big the heap know, is. Yeah. You, you know, sometimes you get an extra T-shirt and pin it to your wall just to let yourself know, like, oh yeah, this is yeah. a cool <laughs> shirt. I'm about this. Yeah. This is this is how much I'm into this thing. Is I bought an extra shirt to go on the wall <laughs> because I couldn't find any kind of other art. I, to, I actually with have this. within arm's reach an example of a shirt that's worth hanging on a wall if I, if I may lean over to show it off. You no may lean. Lean away. Don't, don't do it. So I went to see Spam a lot when it was in previews, right? Tim mm. Curry, David Hyde Pierce, all that stuff. To me. Sure, sure, sure. I know, right? No. I know, right, Jan? You're just dying of jealousy. Uh, and I didn't intentionally do this, but I was wearing my Rocky Horror Picture Show t-shirt and I got Tim Curry to sign it. That's pretty sick. Oh, that's fucking yeah. cool. That's cool. Uh, I can't believe that's you're still alive. Cool. Um, and you keep it like, always just within barely. arm's reach. <laughs> no, I just got this for my folks when they visited two weeks ago, and I haven't like decided where to put it yet. And it's like been framed for like since it happened. Like I got my t-shirt signed, and my mom was like, we're going to frame it. You're not going to wear this yeah. shirt ever again. No, so, you don't yeah. frame yeah, that. Like, not, yeah, exactly. I see all these, all these fucking lunatics like... Uh, wearing hockey jerseys that have been signed by uh, mm, that's not the like, move. What? I'm sorry, no, you yeah. look, yeah, you yeah. have you've desecrated the jersey, like the jersey is done, it is now art, cemented as art. Yes, mm -hmm. frame that shit. Would he, I mean, look, you want to wear a signature? Were, were you wearing the shirt when he signed it? Yes, it was. Oh awkward. my goodness! Well, it's okay he wasn't then. too happy about it. <laughs> can you can you uh, describe that scene in vivid detail? Uh, I was seventeen, eighteen, or something like that. So it was forever ago. But I basically, you know, he was signing. You know, the the actors come out after the show. They sign stuff. Da da da. And I was like, oh, oh shit! I'm. Okay. I'm, I, I just happened to be wearing this shirt. I just That's happened weird. to be wearing this. So Give odd. It a shot. So I I went up and I was just like. Eh. Here's, he here's, looked, here's my midsection. He looked a Sign little it. miserable. He looked a little fucking miserable. Like, well, this is my life now. But but I, I knew I would clothing. not be. Uh, I knew I would not be the uh, the jerk he would remember that day because, like, immediately behind me was a very obnoxious woman who was waving around something in her hand, and she said, uh, "Tim, sign my corset. I played Janet in the show." Mm. Oh, and I was like, "Okay, yeah. I'm safe. He's not going to remember this. Yeah, that's, this is the no, asshole. That's the yeah. That's <laughs> oof, oof. yeah. I, that's kind of like a Derek Manning day, like a like a Empire Records." Mm. The lady comes Rex up Manning and she's Day? like, Manning "Yeah, Rex Manning Day. Yeah, there we go." She's like, "Mona, Mona, Mona." Yeah, oh, I love that. That's that lady. You know what? I I went to see a screening of uh, a film that Dante Bosco made with his brothers, um, and they were doing a Q and A afterwards. Uh, we became best friends, by the way. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Me this and, is Rufio. We're yeah, talking. About. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you yeah. may know him as Prince Zuko, perhaps as well. Sure. Roof dog. Maybe. Oh. Uh, Yes. Same guy, huh? Yeah, same guy. Uh, Fili know. Filipino royalty. He's he's on like the Mount Rushmore now. Um, anyway, uh, somewhat you know Q and A. <laughs> Jolly B. <laughs> Q and A. You know they're answering everything. It's it's a bunch of heartfelt questions, and then one person in the back goes, "Dante, bang a ring!" Oh no! <laughs> and then you just see the smile because he he just yeah, been asked. He knows this, this is his directorial debut and yeah, everything. It's a big deal. A movie he made uh, through COVID with his brothers yeah. and all these other questions were very heartfelt. And then you just see the smile fade from his face and like he's just like, oh, and then no. he just picks up the mic, like, yeah, bangerang, cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Aww. Hell, hell yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, uh, oh, I'm sorry, sorry you had to work with Robin Williams. I'm sorry. Well, but like, think <laughs> I'm about kidding, it. I'm he kidding. He did I'm that kidding. role when he was like 10, 8, 10. Yeah, I'm kidding. No, he was it's older still, than 10. Still he funny. was like 14 or something. Perhaps. He had to be older. He he was the tallest lost boy. Yay. He was hunky. He was at least he was lost lost for a while. One. He's the I'd, lostest I'd lost boy. I'd say 16. I'd say 16. Someone's got to look this up. 
You know what? Right. Okay. Different. Here's here's my beef uh, uh, with with Peter Pan, Disney, mm -hmm. and and pirates. All right. I get teased as as a like a, uh, a high schooler when Jake the pirate 16. came out because it oh, was in the Peter Jake Pan. and the Neverland Pirates. Yes. It, yes. It, and then like I'm looking at the cartoon. I'm like, wow, that guy looks vaguely perhaps ethnic. And it's like, is that Rufio? Are they making him canon now? No, it's a dude named Jake. No, it's just some dude named Jake. What an ass. Mm. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. Jake what? and the Neverland Pirate. Wait, so Jake is just some, like... He's just like another he's just dude. Some, he's just yeah. a scrub? He's just like a Lost Boy scrub that they're like, yo, go fight Pretty much. Captain Hook? Like Lost Boy B-Team. Like, we'll just... Yeah, lost he's... Lost Boy's wolf pack. <laughs> he's, he's the sixth Lost Boy. All right. All Maybe right. Rufio was a name that was given to him later when he became leader of the Lost Boys. Holy mm. shit. Yeah, maybe this yeah, is, is it, maybe is Jake prequel, and the Neverland it? Pirates no, or whatever the no, fuck. No, this is it's an origin the, the Jake story. Jake is not nearly as cool as Rufio. Not yeah. little. anywhere. No, yeah, even but, no. Yeah, you can't Rufio's grow into name? fucking. Is, is his full name Jake Rufio? Bullshit. G yeah. Bullshit. It's Jacob Rufio yeah. Schwartz no nope. Pan. Rufio Schwartz. Garland, and you're like, what? No, Fuck that. Chaos. Chaos. Uh, fucking crazy. Um, I don't make the I, rules. I have some autographs, but I've never been an autograph like type of person. Yeah. Yeah. Me either. I can't Same. believe I did I did that to Tim Curry, honestly. Well, you had the shirt on. Like, yeah, it's it was like, too yeah, perfect. I was just you kind of like, have yeah, to. It totally makes sense. Of course you Destiny, do that. Uh, yeah. When am I going to ever get the chance again? I'm glad I did it, but I was a kid with really bad social anxiety, so it's like I must have entered a fugue state to be able to do this. Did this oh my God. better or worse? I don't know. I mean, you really had, like, to put yourself in a position to have something signed... That's a great deal of effort there. That I'm wearing. Jesus Christ. Yeah. 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 That's Fuck. like that's like Tim Curry had to touch you to make that happen. Yeah. Yeah. He was not. You should have been like, I yeah. loved you in Home Alone too. I loved you in Fern Gully. Yeah. <laughs> Why were you so horny in Fern Gully? <laughs> I learned yeah. recently that the word horny is in the song that he sings in Fern Gully. Okay. Oh. He so you are a he has fan. a very naturally yeah. horny face. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Have you seen him in like Legend? Oh my god. Yeah. There's two of them. often looks like a dude who is trying to fuck. He just, mm -hmm. he's like, did someone say fucking? You know, like he's yeah. always like, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. did someone yeah. say fucking? Smirk. Yeah. I love okay. that. I think that's, that's yeah. the, whole... the butler and Clue. That, oh, that was his whole best. fucking MO. Like, Loaded Weapon like, 1 like when he's least... dressed up as the wilderness girl. Oh shit, that's oh. amazing. <laughs> what is Tim Curry's least horny role? Because I was going to say the butler in Slash Mr. Body. Spoiler no, alert. No, he's in he's clue. got a bit of like no under under discussed horniness as the butler. No, look at that yeah. face. And that look and that, that whole movie's got like horniness left and right. Love totally. Mm. My favorite movie. It's so good. Very cleavage, a lot of cleavage and horniness yeah. and all Maybe that. Like who who did he play in Congo? Some some uh, bad Russian Hulk, accent Hulk, man. Hulkama, <laughs> it's his name's like Hulkama Horny. Hermoka or something yeah. like that. <laughs> and he's like he's oh, horny yeah. for. Gorillas. Like, I'm gonna fuck these monkeys. Is what he I am going to yeah. fuck these gorillas. Dude, like, no, I know. Just got, there's a smirk. There's a. There's just a like his his kind of like uh, smirk Gabriel Knight is, is extra. Uh, just dude. is extra. Well, Gabriel I know, Knight. I've seen Where, Congo he, so many times. Really? Congo. Not I don't know did, why. That's what that happened. That's a little weird. I know why. I know why. Because Congo. It's because you get high a lot, isn't it? Well, <laughs> no. That, first of all, Congo's and... not like a let's get stoned and watch. No, it's just fucking... you're just you just no. I'm just saying you happen to be sitting on a couch near a television. I was like, too well, young to get high when Congo was on Congo's TV. On. Yeah, uh, it was <laughs> going out getting the volcano like... meal. You hitting the Taco Bell? What are you doing? Nah, yeah. dude, this is before my time. Like, oh man. Uh, it's too, it was like on HBO must have had it on repeat. Like you could catch rolling Congo mm -hmm. four times a day if you were really crafty about it. You oh, know, sure. like HBO, HBO West, and then like the whole thing. I'm telling you, that's, and it just, you just fall into that thing. And that movie is good. It was something about it. I had read the Michael Crichton book and I was like, this isn't that. But you read the book? <laughs> Congo oh, the movie you could watch. <laughs> it's, I don't know what it was. Ernie Hudson, kind of badass. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Tim wait, Curry. Wait. Tim wait. Curry's like funny for reasons that he's probably not supposed to be in that. Yeah. Like it's not a. It's not bad. It's it doesn't probably doesn't hold up. I haven't seen it in twenty years. I bet. But like he, he well, plays. We should watch us now. Nigel Thornberry in the Wild yes. Thornberries. That's yes, him. Oh yeah, that's him. dude. Absolutely, that's him. Wow. 
Wow. Jess is more of a Tim Curry fangirl than she's letting on to be. Mm-hmm. By wow. the way, he was the, the voice of he was the voice she of Gabriel Knight. She was very Knight. excited when when he signed her shirt. <laughs> that was very, very excited. excited. I couldn't believe it. my yeah, parents were like yeah. pat me on the back. Like, I can't believe you did that. That's so cool. Uh, Tim Curry fucking played Gabriel Knight with a really bad Creole accent, and mm. he also played a snooty butler that he has a scene with as Gabriel Knight. So it's it's a one man scene with his normal accent and right. his bad Creole accent. Tour de force. Wow. Ugh. Oh, Andy what a, was what a Jimmy talent. Neutron. What? I had a lot of children's poster on my wall for a while. No, he was also you in all, did not. Uh, Real Monsters. He was in. He was in uh, not in Ah uh, Real Monsters. Yes, he was like the professor guy. What? Oh yes, my god! That's him. Good lord! With the red nails. Good lord! There was a TV series of the Titanic. What? What? No. That's dumb. The boat doesn't sink in this one. Yeah. The cliffhanger. That's all that's all season two. Boat's taking on water. What's gonna happen? I don't know. Season two, episode one. We made it. I don't know. We got another season. What he was in Captain Planet, man. What a treasured career yes. this guy had. Oh, that's right. He was of yeah, course he's been he was around. In, he's the best. Of course he was in Superhuman uh Samurai Cyber Squad. As, Superhuman uh, Samurai the Cyber best. Squad. It's a good right. show. Legend. Wow. It's a good Legend. Show. Good show. I remember really liking Loaded Weapon 1. Me too. Yeah. Pretty good. Um, Emilio. Yeah. It's definitely an era where, you know, just between working around a movie theater and knowing a bunch of people who worked at said movie theater, posters were everywhere. Mm-hmm. So if you just wanted movie posters for questionable films, they I had a National for the taking. Senior Trip poster on my wall for a good long so, time. I'm sorry. On the back of my door. Oh. My oh my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a point of no return poster somewhere around here. Old I had a Return of the Living Dead cardboard stand up, which is my favorite fucking oh. movie. Nice. Uh, I ended up giving it to a friend who is more of a fan than I, but uh, yeah, we, we discovered a lot of things in the attic of the uh, movie theater mm. in which I had managed. Holy ghosts. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Ghosts, of course. Well, How many um, people here have worked in a movie theater? Me? It's just, yeah, it's, yeah. More than half the crew. Yeah. Because yeah. there's nine right. of us. I had a Spice World standee in my uh, kitchen for about four years, just oh, slowly man. decomposing. Falling That's apart, a movie that but... seems like Tim Curry would be in it, but I don't yeah. think he is. He's, no, he's, he should be like their manager. Yes. So, I mean, I know they have a manager. Someone else plays them. It doesn't, um, what the fuck's his name? Bob Hoskins. Alan Cumming? Is no. Richard O'Brien is in there, speaking of Rocky Horror alumni. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's been a while since I've seen Spice World. I remember enjoying it. <laughs> Film in 40, Spice World. <laughs> yeah, yeah, finally. Oh, man, we missed Abby's uh, Spice Girl phase. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we talk about some, uh, what do we got? Uh, 707 exit flu. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm picking up. I, I'm up. feeling it. I do. Yeah, I do. That's, that's the phone number you can call if you want to call us and leave a voicemail. Sometimes I do. What was the, what was, how would you describe, what's the tenor, what, you know, take the temperature of the overall voicemail voicemail dump truck truck community. What was the vibe uh, coming in from all the voicemails this week? Oh, okay. Uh, I actually take notes on this because I can't play everything. Um, The, there was a couple people very angry with Jason saying, Jason, it is not duck, duck, uh, gray goose. It is duck, duck, gray duck. Uh, another Uh, person. Bullshit. I will fucking throw down. Uh, you will get these hands, I've these heard Minnesotan hands, <laughs> these fucking yeah, Midwest hands. And, uh, uh, yeah, uh, we will. <laughs> Holy shit. There were a couple other people talking about methods that they almost died. Some of them were kind of uh, upsetting, so I cho- oh. chose to omit them. Yeah, okay. Thank Don't you. call in with the upsetting stories. Uh, I mean, you can. There was there was yeah. one voicemail that was uh, five. About Jan's sanity. <laughs> And stuff, you know, don't hurt, don't hurt our boy Jan. Uh, the the count went from 900 voicemails last week to 1,300. Um, stop and also, it! I, <laughs> stop no me way. or stop them? <laughs> You're saying 1,300? Well, it went from 900, and I had a backlog of 900 calls to work through. I was thinking okay, about so not like 1,300 new ones. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Got it. okay. okay. So like whatever the like, math is there. Damn yeah. oh, stop stop boy, calling everyone. 
because what what people wind it's up doing now—it's just one man. It's just one Jan. What, what people wind up doing now is like they'll call, they'll mess up, and then they'll call again, and then like <laughs> they'll they'll okay. hang up, and they'll be like, "Wait, wait, wait! I wanted to add something, or I forgot they they forgot something." Yeah. Uh, or you know that all counts they'll, as one. I, I I put it up as three sometimes. Um, all right. And then someone actually called while I was listening, and I answered. We had a quick chat. Good. Good. Uh, Matt, I'm glad that you didn't die. Uh, sorry oh, about your uh, uh, father's truck. But uh, yeah, I hope you did have me a good rest of your work day. Too. And if you call while I'm checking the voicemails, I promise now I will pick up and we'll have a little chat. We'll have a little <laughs> chat. Wow. Uh, anyway... Jensen, uh, lady, uh, you had the voicemails before you. Let's actually go ladies first. Oh my god. Uh, I love my wife, too. Ladies, uh, ladies So first. do I. Hmm. I think we had, we, we, uh, chose a voicemail where someone s said they had a, uh, bumper sticker that just said, I love my wife. Right, yes. And this is their follow-up. Hey, what's up, 3AM people and dumpers? Uh, this is Nathan from Texas, uh, when I got a new truck last year, uh, I was on the lookout for, you know, sort of positive. Caller? Caller? Yep. Go ahead. Reflect uh, my sentiments about life. Uh, and I was driving around and I saw a bumper sticker that said, I love my wife. Uh, and I thought, wow, that's really nice. Uh, yeah. I didn't think it was weird at all. In fact, I ordered one oh. online. Uh, Really madly in love with my wife. I have been together for 18 years. This is oh, a nice romantic grand gesture and really conveys, you know, positivity out there in the world. Uh, and then here I am this morning listening to uh, my favorite dumpers, the dump, the dump truck, and um, it seems to be a lot of cynicism about my I love my wife bumper sticker. Uh, and apparently when people look at it, they think that. Uh, I'm uh, a cheat on her, or I'm some kind of weirdo. Uh, so that was eye-opening. Um, so if you guys could yeah. recommend me a better bumper sticker uh, that is sort of positive, uplifting, not negativity, uh, that doesn't denote that I'm some kind of womanizing piece of shit. Uh, I'd love to hear about it, because apparently I need to swap it out. I love you guys. Bye. Maybe. Maybe. There's wow. no way that is the same man. There's no Thank way. You. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, caller. caller. My my other ride is my wife. Is that <laughs> is that uh, acceptable? No. Okay. If if it says I heart my wife, go get a sticker of like a big screw and put that over the heart. Okay. Okay. Or or, or keep the I love my wife bumper sticker, but add like a winky face emoji to the end of it. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's that, not, that implies it. more lasciviousness. <laughs> exactly, yeah. exactly. It's inviting. Like, it's gentle second, lasciviousness. Yeah. Mm. Second bumper sticker that says, "I'm getting a lot of questions that are already answered by my previous bumper sticker." Yeah. Okay. What have we okay, done with the bumper stickers? Of, yeah. What has happened? Oh, so that's another thing. Do? Folks are catching up uh, on on the voicemail dump truck, and people keep talking about bumper stickers. Mm -hmm. I can't stop them from calling about bumper stickers. A hot topic, yeah. yeah. I, this I was get all it. this was all from the um the giant bomb guy pissing on the uh keep Christ in Christmas sticker. Is that what it was? Calvin. Well there were multiple stickers yeah. that he pissed on. Calvin, oh, he's the pissing giant bomb on guy. Yeah. Right, 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 right. We've okay. co-opted him and we we we're we're gonna make those shirts since since yeah. that dude won't. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it can't um, be that hard to sell a and make and sell a bumper sticker, right? No, no you just no, yeah, no. You go to one two three stickers dot com and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You that by the Use end of the week. Use code dump truck for um. <laughs> or what about I? I remember seeing stickers because the, the I heart my whatever uh -huh. sticker was very prevalent in the eighties. I don't know if that's that, I assume that's tapered off because I haven't seen that sort of. Well, no, they, they've all kind of uh, moved into the, uh, you know, the, the, um, the, the stick figures. You know, you right, have the, exactly. the wife, yeah. you have right, the, right, you right. the, you the husband, so, you have the so dog. The I, heart you get my, the, the I heart my blank, whatever, yeah. uh, has gone out of style. But at the time, you would see other ones that were like, well, what about the other suits of the card deck? And so we'd see like, I club my dog. <laughs> or I club my wife. No, that that's Horrible. not right. That's not right. Those existed. Those existed. I diamond my cockapoo. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay. Fuck. All right. Well, weird. I like a uh, like overly. We're talking about overly specific bumper stickers too. So maybe I love my wife needs like a little more specificity to it. Like my wife has this incredible occupation and she's the best at it, and I love her. And just like the font gets tinier and tinier as it goes down. So is that? Are you basically like like one of those like hyper targeted Facebook shirts? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Bring like, those to bumper yeah. stickers. I love my yes. wife who was born on May eleventh, nineteen. 86 yes. and loves the color green and f- f- fucks yeah. like a it's, god like, three, like john cena it's like you're speaking wink, to wink, me. winky face or so yeah. i've heard <laughs> i don't know what that means i went to like speaking of overly personalized items uh there is an all year round christmas store in uh frankenmuth michigan frankenmuth uh, frankenmuth, frankenmuth. They'll get okay. you some fudge. It's delicious. Yeah, and, and Frank and Louis. Um, <clears throat> but they have a year-round Christmas store that is only closed on, you know, Christmas and Easter. Uh, mm. But it, they have, it's just jillions and jillions of, you know, That's ornaments. not a, um, a word. Jillions? Know, whatever. Have yeah, some whimsy it. in your life. Um, <laughs> but, Absolutely not. I can't. I, <laughs> no. got me this far. I'm not going to start now. Jillions. Okay, hang on. I'm about to kill that whimsy, okay? Give me a second. I got to tell my story. Thank you. But they've <laughs> got all these, like, left. super... Super customized uh, ornaments that you can put you know, anyone's name on it, da da da. But there's a whole bunch that are just occupational based, and you know there's a lot of occupations out there, and there must be demand for these ornaments, right? Because somebody's got to be buying world's best child protective service agents Christmas 2012 ornaments or whatever. I guess Fuck. somebody has to. World's Fuck. best social worker on an ornament. Mm. World's what, best mortician. Right. <laughs> yeah. Merry Christmas, okay. everybody! Okay. Merry Christmas! Is that is like is the ornament shaped like a coffin in that case? Like what you know? Yeah, it's exactly. No, it's just, just kind of, yeah, just a standard the yeah. boring bulb, yeah, but they've big... got nice custom calligraphy on it. Maybe a little, okay. um, you know, stamp or sticker or something like that to denote the the job type. Uh, I w- yeah. I would uh, add a and a, another object to the end of that bumper sticker. So I love my wife and cinnamon rolls. Ooh, yeah, you know, because what no you gonna... love more. Oh, okay, that crazy. And a if I have to my choose, wife and getting pistol whipped. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. Speaking about uh, cinnamon rolls, Jason. Uh, Skittles. <laughs> hey, y'all. They unfuck Skittles. Did you? Did you see? The they lime's took, back, baby. They took that nasty ass apple Skittle and they threw it in the yeah, trash. Fuck it. Where it belongs, and the, the lime one's back. Lime's back. You can eat Skittles by the handful now. I, I'm, I'm, I don't want to let y'all know. I love you. Dude. Thank you, fucking, Colin. Wow, so kid Ditto. spirit here Ditto. with Jason. <laughs> hey, so I, uh, maybe I missed that whole fucking story. You're telling me... They, they took repl- away lime fucking Skittles and tried to replace it with some fucking green apple bullshit. I do no, like the, I no. do like the candy flavor uh, of green apple. I like no, green no, apple not in the, not in the, yeah. not in the Skittles variation. Like, no, well, it's, well, not Skittles, right. Skittles, it's not Skittles right. It's not right. It's fucking abhorrent. Like, it is fucking bullshit. I, you bring the lime back. And they did. Skittles suck uh, because. Oh fuck! Yeah, I'm kind of like, like, like in there. like Skittles are just like candy cement when you've got it all fucking yeah. gnarled up. It's like, what are we? What is so, this? Skittles. Are Skittles doing? are my go-to when when my blood sugar is low. We have an emergency set of Skittles um, because that is checks out. The, Skittles my, saved my life. Skittles <laughs> saved my there. fucking life. Upgrade to pixie sticks. Fuck yeah. even, like even more Skittles. sugar. Yeah. Oh, I, will tap a, I will tap a candy straw if I need to. I don't so, even so fucking know you people. Isn't, uh, isn't there I don't already... care to. I don't care to. Isn't there already a lemon flavor in there? There's hey. got, I mean, it's, well, it's lemon yellow. And lime I guess. Yellow. That's radically different. Yeah, but I, they, they're, they're, there's, there's citrus. I feel like there's too much citrus in there already. There's an orange, there's a lemon, there's a lime. Listen, you you that's go to your of, listen. If, if you want all that, go to the, yeah, taste the rainbow. You go to fucking wild berry skittles that's, or, or that's some not, shit like that. That's not tasting the rainbow to me. That is homogenous. That's too much citrus. Yeah, homogenizing I mean, I think the rainbow. I, I am of the mind that you can never have enough citrus. I want to sure. truth. I want to okay. get down with a citrus. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. get a, come on, get down. Yeah, I don't that's, like sour stuff, so I didn't want any more sour stuff in anything. 
get down mm-hmm. with the I like citrus. A, I like a sweet, a sweet, you know, nice sweetened up citrus. You know, like mm. uh, I'm not real huge on lime all the time, but you know, sometimes you gotta. What's that? What I'm. S- I don't know. I don't know. I'm just straight up fucking angry Dude, about the Skittles discourse he's here. He's in straight up in therapy over these uh, Skittle I'm, slanders. I am. I love it. Seriously pissed. <laughs> uh, 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 Jeff Bacalar, if you could please take oh. the next portion. Right on cue there. Just Let's do... Only about a minute late. It's fine. Keyboard.mp3. Uh, this one's directly uh. targeted to you. What do you know? Fuck yeah, bring what it on. What keyboard is Jeff it. Bacalar typing on right now? I want to hear a little sound test. Now you hold it up to the camera. A little clickety clackety. fucking a little sweet, dude. Chickety chickety. Sure he's on the show, I guess. No, I don't know. Um, uh-huh. Uh, all right. Apparently, we've got another keyboard perv on the line. Yeah. That guy sounded like either a real sicko or that he's he hates keyboards and is fucking with you, and I can't tell which. No, that I I will uh, I'm willing to bet money that was a genuine keyboard genuine? pervert. Yeah, genuine keyboard Damn. pervert. Genuine. Wow. Get up. I didn't think Get he on know, there, wow. there are wow. many of us. Okay, <laughs> dozens. Yeah. of us. Upon yeah. dozens, friend, uh, you, uh, she, she, she might get into it. Yeah, there's one. There's a pervert born every seven seconds in the keyboard community. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm just, uh, oh. f- first off, thank you, caller. <laughs> uh, second of all, I'm currently typing on a Jelly Epoch. Oh, I could tell. Seventy five percent. Yeah. Uh. I'm not, and I'm not going to tilt my camera on it. What's the VGPG breakdown it's, it's on that? Is that like necessary? I don't know what that means. Okay. All right. You what got does like that a, mean? Are you sub-ohming it? Or like, what is it? Like dual coil? What's the configuration on this? Is it? Vanilla. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'm sure. rocking sure. Uh, uh, Boba U4T switches. Delicious. Topped off with GMK Apollo. You just know that off the top of your head. Well, GMK Apollo is the kind of keycaps. Just the you just design. know that off the top of your head. Of course. Duh. Okay. I mean, he, uh, and you, you want to type it, right? This, so you, I built you it. I better together, fucking know. So, yeah. Uh, are we wow. doing? Are we doing a sound test right now? Are we doing a type yeah, test? I, I'll this will pick it up we? real nice. Can All right, hold on. Right, bear with me. 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 Going? Oh God, he's just gone down on himself. Yep, not picking up not above the gate. Wow, it's, it's, been qua- yeah. it's so it's silent. So yeah. Perfect. It's nice silent it's, switches. That's great. Turn off my gate for a second. Like a citrus brown. Well, mm-hmm. if you can't get that yeah, turn going. Off, turn off your gate and try it again. I believe what's in the, you. What's the fastest way to do <laughs> Open up the GoXLR app and set the noise gate to, to zero. Zero, yeah. right? Yeah, this will work. As long as you have it turned off in Discord as well, it should be fine. And I'll no. go like this. I'll push this against my ears. Like, oh. 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 Oh, God. Oh, what? Yeah. Hit the, hit the, hit the key. Oh. Hit him. Hit him. Oh. Isn't that nice? Oh, oh yeah. You have it's no a... idea. Mm. Uh, I can't stand I, Actually, I feel kind of gross now. Can we stop? All right. Oh, uh, God. Uh, Jeff Gersman, please pick the next voicemail. Please um, <laughs> pick the next voicemail. Okay. You know, there's an album on Spotify of people typing on different keyboards. A whole um, album. A whole, really? there's a whole wow. album. There's a whole bunch. Of, and they just, the names of the tracks are just the types of keyboard that they're typing on. So you want some Model M, you, you know, it's they got sick. it. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's good where you're driving. Um, feel bad about it. Dot MP3. <laughs> feel bad about it. When I was a kid, my friend had a GameCube and I didn't, and he had Sonic Adventure 2. And I thought the chows were pretty cool when I was like nine. Yeah. And now in my head, I think that's a good video game. And I feel bad about it. Thank you. Connor. Oh, it's okay, dude. That's Aww. okay, dude. The chows yeah. were cool. You're right. Yeah. As long as you can rec- recognize that it's maybe not actually a good video game. No, it's, it's not about the fucking video game. It's about the chows. 
Yeah, that's a different Which thing. Which were good. Yeah. That's, Cows yeah, are good. That's, geez, Cows are good. Going on your VMU and yeah. go do something, you know. Yeah, it was not about the game at any point. No. Just the chows. Yeah. Never, mm-hmm. never. Uh, There's a couple of good <clears throat> tracks, though. Escape Normally, I would give well, my yeah, pick. That's, yeah. A lot of great covers of that on Spotify, too. Oh, if yeah. You're into, if you're into great music. And I am. Uh, no, normally, I would give my pick to the oh. audience, but I want to pick this one. Angry Magician. Hey, Dan, yeah. it's that, that it's the fucking Angry Magician again. I just want to oh, say, shit. fuck the backlog, man. Fuck the backlog. Put a, put a, put a, put a fucking sheet over the backlog. Alakazam, the fucking backlog has disappeared. It's, it's gone. gone. Fuck the backlog. <laughs> Where'd it go? Whoa. Well, there it goes. Zero co- <laughs> voicemails now. Where'd it go? Holy shit. <laughs> it's gone. The list is okay, gone. Okay, we can, we can start over now. Call in right, right. now. 707 exit. Uh, yeah, don't we, need, right we need voicemails. We don't have <laughs> any right. now. That's, yeah. Uh, um, Got a lot of show left. Thank you, caller. Uh, Jess, Just save that for less. The wheel yeah, goes so back funny. to you. The energy I like to hear. <laughs> we can Seriously. play it again at the end. Bring that. Uh, 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 good kids. Good kids. I have two kids, and uh, my oldest one is 12. And, like, I look at my kids, and I, I think, like, why are they so good? Like, they're legitimately good kids. Mm. And, like, I think back to when I was 12, and I was already transitioning into being, like, a total dirtbag. Because I can remember when I was in, like, sixth grade or whatever, fifth grade, and, like, me and my best friend had us snuck into, like, the music room, and there were there was, like, all these violins, and we hella, like, smashed all the violins like Nirvana did. Like, with their <gasps> guitar. Just like and Nirvana. No! And just, like, left. Oh, that's and he would up. never do anything like that. He's, like, hella good. How do you, how do you, how do you know? That's, that's something I just realized recently. <laughs> Thank wow. you, caller. Thank you, caller. Thank you, caller. Like, well, you know what? Thank you, caller. Um, you're kind of dumbass because, you know what? Those kids are doing that shit. Yeah. Those well, kids are doing that shit. I don't know if his, his kids, kids are doing violin, it. Violins, yeah. I don't think his kids are doing it. No. If they're if they are, they're not getting caught. They're if, if they are, they are not getting they're caught. True masterminds. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Look, you know, look at it this way, uh, dear caller. Perhaps the behavior of your children, as you believe it to be very good, is a testament to you as a parent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or your right? wife. You've created an environment, right? You've created an environment where there is no need to lash out at the stringed instrument society. Yeah. <laughs> right? That was one of my favorite uh, factions, the, the stringed instrument society. Like, they, they didn't get enough mm. airtime. But CM Punk was a good leader, I guess, for it. Yep. Um, yep. <laughs> I trashed uh, the kitchen, like the cafeteria Aww. kitchen um, in fifth? grade fourth fourth grade fifth grade somewhere around there i got in a fight oh um, shit! it was like a tag team fight me and my friend against these two other guys and they mm. tried to get away and the older kids found them trying to escape and held them for us and so i got good. one free shot good on on one guy and then he was swinging his mailbox around but anyway we got caught swinging his I, mailbox I had a daring escape around. where i dove into my my mom pulled up to pick me up and i just jumped to the car and was just like drive and then drive. They, by the time Slid we got the hood. by the time we got back to christmas story shit. where we were going the school was already calling going um hey so uh, <laughs> anyway they made us clean up the um they made us clean up after lunch. Like they, they, the punishment was like, all right, you and this other kid you were in the fight with are now going to clean up the kitchen area, the cafeteria area after lunch. And we're like, okay, cool. And we did that. And then just like subtly found ways to fuck it up. Like there was a phone in there and we took it all, all apart and fucking stole parts out of the phone and started pouring flour into the phone receiver and just a bunch of other just like dumb little things like that. And then never, I mean, even yeah. though we were the kids that were in there doing the cleanup. They never said like, "Hey, by the way, you're also super fucking everything up, you dumbass." Like they never, I, I don't know. No, they didn't like, check. There was never yeah. any follow up on that stuff. May, so. may I ask? They a didn't question. check their work. Go, go on. Why? 
Why did you do that? You're in fifth grade. Because you're in fifth grade. You know, yeah. I, I, I didn't know, cause, like, do this shit. Also, this, this other kid that I was in the fight with was like probably a bigger dirtbag than I was. And so like by hanging out with him, it was like, proof, hey, yeah. I don't know why we were fighting. You're actually pretty cool. Let's fuck shit up. Uh, was kind of how it went. And so in the, like you two hit a moment where in your fight where you're both mutually exhausted and you look around you and you're like, you know what? We're we fuck should be everything friends. around us. Yeah. Well, it was like, <laughs> fuck, that, fuck like this the punishment. Fight. Was, yeah. The punishment was like instead of, you know, this was like the week after or whatever we started doing this stuff. And by that time, I was like, I don't even know why the fuck we were fighting. It was like pointless. Um, I think they didn't like my friend more than, yeah. and I was just kind of in for the right. I don't know what it was, but. But yeah, so it was like the, one of the kids that I was in the fight against, they decided that the two of us were going to clean up this room. And then we became fast friends for the like last two years of elementary school. And then he moved away somewhere weird. Um, Oddly I don't enough, understand that's how boys. Stranger of Paradise also no, started. Jess, you're yeah. totally right. Uh, I think every, I think a lot of little boys, uh, not all of them, but I think a lot hit a point in their childhood where destruction and fire is a fa are a fascinating oh, yeah. That's combination. Why I can't grow hair on a certain part of my hands because my friend and I played hot hands with fire. Yes. Uh, uh, there you was know, just point... making it to 13 is an achievement, really, yes. when you think about it. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. There the was one odds point are stacked against you, seemingly. Where I was aggressively nice uh, to people because I vol my friend and I volunteered to help clean up uh, our cafeteria once. And then our principal rolled in and was like, oh, you guys are doing a pretty good job at cleaning. Maybe you guys could do this as a job. And then that just like <gasps> flipped the switch in me. I remember that like, story. Fuck you, principal. I'm going to yeah. be too nice to you now. So sometimes I'd make it a, I, I would jump in front of the line to hold the door for him. It's like, here you go, Mr. Blah, blah, blah. And then like he, I think oh, it started you causing showed him, him. Started causing him like a little bit of panic of like, when is this kid going to... When is this kid going to flip gonna, out? What is he going to be too he's nice? Gonna like, he's going to shiv me. Something's going to happen here. Like yeah, one he's... time, like uh, during during morning, uh, uh, whatever, we were passing out hot chocolate. I made sure to pass him one. And then he he was super hesitant to drink that hot chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I've I, felt that same way about you sometimes because you're so nice to me all the time. Y'all are safe. Y'all are safe. Y'all are safe. Just, Shit. Just, just to go back to what you're saying, Jess, you're completely right. Uh, it makes no sense. Um, little boys are fucking monsters. Uh, teachers, we don't give them nearly enough credit. They should be paid more than doctors, uh, or at least the same amount. Um, and oh my fucking God, what they have to deal with. These little pyromaniac freaks. I'm just jealous. I never got to do that shit. You could, you I mean, could. it's never too you late. Just yeah. Yeah. When, where? It's never too late to start fucking shit up. <sighs> Company when, retreat. Where, Company how? retreat. <clears throat> can I, can <clears throat> I? Trash the hotel room on Red Ventures time. Mm, is that okay? Yeah, I'm not going to say yes. yes or no, but I'm going to ask Jason to pick the next voicemail. I'm going to keep it a little ambiguous. Um, it could be Jeff. It could be Jeff. It could be Jan. It could be Jess. It could be Jason. Uh, but J Carr uh, is what I'm going for. Funny mm. enough, it's none of us. Holy uh, shit in Christ. <laughs> caller called in last week talking about how some uh, neighborhood uh, Albany hoodlums. Spray, pen, spray painted AJ on his car. Hey, 3 a.m. crew, stop from California. Uh, Jeff had mentioned spray painting your entire car the color that the J was uh, in the last dump truck. So I just wanted yep. to reach out as uh, I knew a guy in my old neighborhood that had actually spray painted his entire car matte black. Ooh. We lived in the desert, so in the black. summer his car uh, overheated, and I think yep. it might have caught fire because surprisingly that paint holds heat like crazy. And it was like 120 hours. Surprising. Uh, so, yeah, probably not the best idea if you live in a hot area. Um, or at least, you know, maybe don't do it with fucking spray paint. Uh, yeah, I remember that guy trying to sell that car. I don't think anyone ever bought it. Uh, probably because it was a yeah. shit Civic that was, like I said, had caught fire at one point. But, yeah, uh, thanks. Thank you, okay. caller. All right. Thank you, caller. Yeah, Rattle thank you. can, black fucking Civic. <laughs> that's just Matt a fucking that's the perfect Ugh. fucking car. Not even the shiny kind? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Just, uh, you know, get a get house paint, paint rollers. Just put a bunch of fucking white paint on it. Why not? Over all the windows, not? everything. Just get craft paint. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. From, from uh, the craft store. Uh, Glitter paint. Mr. Bacalar, you'd pick the next one, sir. Okay. My pleasure. 
Um, let us do Googling things, not MP3. Googling things. Hey, Dumbers. It's uh, Brian from Attica. Um, so tonight, uh, while playing video games, I learned that Elijah Wood was the voice of Spyro the Dragon. Yes. Crazy, right? So, um, figured somebody else should know that. Thank you. I also got a cold, and um, when I have a cold, I tend to Google dumbass things like this. So, what's the most uh, dumbass thing you ever learned uh, while just Googling nonsense? So I uh, want to point out that Elijah Wood was not the original voice of Spyro, though. Carlos okay. something something, and then I think uh, Tom Kenny was in the second one, mm -hmm. and then from three onwards it was Elijah Wood, or four onwards, something like that. Okay, that's good to know. Thank it's you. Just, I just wanted to get that thank off you. my chest. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> so, uh, well, thank you, caller. Um, the caller was talking about they only Google weird shit when they have a cold. I'm well, more interested in that connection. Maybe mm. it's like comforting. Like it's a comforting activity right. to do while they're sick. It's not the only time they do it. They just explicitly do it then. Would you like some chicken soup? Nope. I'm just going to Google random shit. <laughs> yep. Instead. Yeah. Mm. There is you like both. on your phone, there's a way to like look back and see what you've asked. Like, hey, Google. Depending on what, the what this on your and phone I or the app. It, I looked through it like a year ago, and there's some fucking dumb shit in there. So I'm just trying to go and see if there's any mm. new things. But I'll have to I, look around for a while. I think uh, I have very weird Googling habits where I, there are certain things I will only search incognito. There are certain things I will only mm -hmm. search VPN. Okay. okay. Oh. There, oh. Yeah. There's many different levels of uh, paranoia that go through my mind when Googling. And um, I need to point out that I have a friend, Zach, uh, who is such a pervert freak uh, that his phone, his phone is so gunked up with just internet garbage yeah. that like you can't even send him a calendar invite for something because his whole ecosystem is filled with spam like you can't even fuck? like he'll like he'll send screenshots of what his calendar looks like and it's just like spam porn oh, i'm just yeah. like you sick little freak you have no to shit like dunk your phone in acid and just re I'm like, you wow. should just restart. I'm like, get a new email address is really yeah. what you should be doing. Like, just do that. I just uh, did that not, recently. I uh, yeah. went and signed up for some new email service and stuff and migrated. For the same my, reason. Like, yeah. yeah no, no, well, I mean, so I have, I have an email address that I have had since the late 90s. Um, well, and, it's, and it's still active. And, but like, it, it is, so I actually went and I paid for, like the Google apps, like whatever, whatever account. And so like, I think that, I don't know if the business level has just better spam protection than the standard accounts or whatever, mm -hmm. but very little fucking mm -hmm. filth makes it to my actual inbox from that address, which is now just an alias pointing to another account anyway. But like, I am getting an, an increase in phone, like text message spam and, sure. and shit like that. And I actually got, um, well, I'm not going to show it because it'll show a phone number, but so I have that Google voice account, uh, account that I've had for a, a good long time too. And, um, that gets a lot of text message spam and, and things of that nature. And there was one that I got that's just like, it's a picture of some lady and it's like, hello, how are you, Jeff? I'm, it's me from your Instagram. And oh, yeah. I want that to, uh, I want to do things to you or, you know, whatever it is. Um, <laughs> totally normal conversation. Yes, right? exactly. Absolutely normal. Just like if anyone who responds to this is, is like getting fucking filth forever or I don't know what, I don't know what the fuck the deal is. But yeah. it was like targeted enough that it was like, okay, like that number for the number for this Google voice is only really listed on my Tumblr page and so, and, and maybe, uh, you know, maybe it's on, maybe it actually is on my Instagram now that I think about it, but, um, but it was just like the hoops that would have to be jumped through for that to occur. And like, what are you trying to get out of it? It just seems very, 
like, I don't know, I guess you'd have to be real dumb to fall for that type of phishing attack or, or, or something, what, whatever it is. But it gets a lot of wrong number, uh, wrong number texts also. Mm. Like, I get a lot of, like, uh, there's, there's, I'll, I'll, I'm just going to read this whole exchange real please, quick here if I, if I can, if I can find it because it's, it's like a year of text messages. And after um, that, pick the next voicemail, sir. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is Jesse James. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that's the first one that came in. Okay. Hey, Amber, are you working today? No. no are you the person I talked to for vehicle registration exemption? Uh, y yes. Can you fax an agenda for meeting tomorrow to insurance and then a phone number? Oh. Mm. Hey, yeah, we'll AT, see. I have my agenda request here to turn into you. Let me know when you're out of your meeting. Uh, hey, who does the action sheets for the council meetings? Is it you? Wow. And now we're up to April 1st, 2021. Thank you for the action sheet. Oh, they got it. Uh, January 18th. Hey, AT, this is Jesse James. I'm trying to get a hold of your mom. What is her number? <laughs> and then weird. February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day. Aww, and so now I wonder if, if Jesse James is like texting this Amber and go like, she never writes me back. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> You're They're doing very poorly at work. Up? Yeah, oh, really just, oh, I, I didn't get the oh. action agenda item or anything. Or, That's uh, weird, man. Uh, and yeah, so, uh, some I I feel like I am months, like a month or two away from just starting to respond to those as Amber and just be like, "Hey, what's up? Yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> thank not? you, Jesse. Why You're not? the best. I love you." you ever so much. wonder if like Amber purpose like knows you and wanted to ditch this guy when he asked for her <laughs> number scary. and just like gave your number to him? I used to do that um to people um and and give out a couple of people's numbers and then they did in in, in the exchange Dave they Lang's. did the same to me yeah and uh, Dave Lang's number is good for just about anything at this point um <laughs> and and that was always fun but no I mean this isn't like my actual live real phone number so it's mm -hmm. just like it's a Google voice number right and and so it's just kind of it's just kind of whatever. When I was a kid, I used to get phone calls all the time. Um, a woman would call up and ask to talk to Milton and um Milton. and she would leave messages all the time and be, and her name was Vera. We eventually determined her name was Vera. And so um Is this a time traveler from the nineteen twenties? What's maybe I don't know. Yeah, I yeah, Milton I mean this Vera? was the nineties. Uh and and she was older. She sounded older. Anyway, at one point me and my friend decided that we were just gonna start talking to her as if we were Milton. And sure. eventually she just said you're not Milton and hang up the phone <laughs> and never called back. Oh, that'd be cool if you got to the point where you're exchanging like holiday cards and shit. I know, yeah. Um, why don't we go with messeduptteacher.mp3? Messed up teacher. When I was in middle school, I went to a Catholic middle school and our teacher, our English teacher, uh, told us, wow. Uh, going over the whole, you know, the whole World War II thing, um, she uh, told us that if she were Hitler and she were in charge of the concentration camps, she would have made all of the Jews wear um, high heels. And uh, she was met with no response by any of the seventh graders in her class. And then yeah, she nervously no. laughed and tried to push it off as if she had not just, you know, conflated herself with Hitler in a real fucked up way. So oh any dumb, real kind of fucked up things that your teachers did without realizing it while you guys were in school. Thanks. Love you. Bye. Oh your my teacher God. wanted to yassify wow. World War II concentration thank, th camp. Thank wow. you, caller. Thank, thank you, caller. Slay indeed. Um, <laughs> I, so, oh boy. All right. So, we don't this have is all to get into it. This no, is all these alleged. are good. These this are good. This is all alleged, I guess, because I don't, all I know, all I know is what I saw, and I don't, and, and the everything else is just hearsay. But I had a teacher get fired uh, while he was my junior year chemistry teacher. And mm. so one day, one day there was a new teacher and the principal came in and explained this was going to be our new teacher and uh, so on and so forth. And I've told, told bits of the story that like the, 
Uh, I, I was doing a public access television show at the time and I had the camera for the show. And so I just sat on my desk in the back and filmed the whole thing and treated it like a press conference, <laughs> like asking questions <laughs> and stuff like that. And, um, nice. Nice. that's very good. And then I got called into the principal's office like a day or two later. And then I went around and filmed like, Hey, what did you, what do you think about this? And all the students were just like, yo, fuck that guy. Like, uh, like all this stuff. Um, and the principal was like, what are you gonna do with that tape? And I said, Oh, we're putting it on public access television next week. And he was like, okay cool. <laughs> um and not long after this is when me and and glenn the guy to the show with ended up going on independent study uh they really didn't want us there after that and as it turns out we were not doing any homework so we made it easy for them but yeah there you go um so the story with this guy uh was always that he partied with students um, a what? friend of mine had older brothers that claimed that they, they claimed that they had been up to his place and done coke and all this other stuff, um, and that he had married a student, which I don't know if that's true or not, but that was no. the, that was the word going around. Um, Who didn't? And and I, my understanding is that he was let go for a harassment of a student, but I but again, like I don't I don't know if that's like a hundred percent true or not. That was just the 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 talk at the time that I think I just saw in a newspaper article relatively recently that that was the case. But, um, so I filmed all that. It ended up on television and then we gave the tape to the local newspaper because they wanted to write about it. <laughs> oh, holy and shit. So we, so we gave it to a reporter and a year and a half later, I was after I was out of high school for like, when I was like 19, 18, 19, something like that dude shows up at my front door this teacher no way and he's like he's like hey i've got a lawsuit going against the school district i really need that tape i gotta get my hands on that tape and i was just like dude the fucking press democrat has it i don't know yeah. like like we gave it to them then and we i haven't had this in in forever uh and and it's wow. just that's that's long gone uh, wow and so that would that was super weird having dude show up uh and so I guess more recently he's been running a goat rescue. Um, and who oh, knows this guy? Yeah, and, oh, goat rescue guy. Okay. And yeah, uh, so so I found myself three in the morning, wide awake, googling um, information about the old arcade I used to go to as a kid, and found the obituary for the guy who ran it. Um, and there was like a survived by so and so and blank the teacher's name. I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, okay, so you must have been married to with this this woman or whatever it was. And so that sent me down this rabbit hole of all this other stuff where like the all the neighbors around the goat rescue place were like, what the hell? Why did you are you have like 60 goats here or something? What the heck is going on? This is a, this a is a, illegal, like all this other stuff. And so it was a bunch of like complaints around that. Um and I am going to Google this real quick here before I say it out loud, because like, I just, um, That's wild. Yeah. I mean, he went on to do some other school work from the looks of things, but I, good, um, good for him. Uh, profession. Okay. All right. Uh, he was charged with felony drug possession in hmm. 2012. Oh, sure. okay. Uh, and Who was, hasn't? Uh, right. and was, was on. put on um, unpaid involuntary leave. Uh, he was uh, working as a teacher in some other school district, I guess, at the time. Um, and, okay. and so on and so forth. And I'm not going to get any deeper into it than that, but there's, there's, there's a uh. lot. Uh, <laughs> So that's the fucking craziest fucking shit I think. Sure. Ever, like, yeah. A teacher that qualifies? Has ever fucking yeah. Been involved in. I think that yeah, qualifies. Well. Yeah. The, Goddamn. The, the closest thing I ever got was in the sixth grade. Uh, I also went to a, a Catholic school from, from kinder to eighth. And for some reason, they were very hyper, super strict on the dress code because we had uniforms. And that mm -hmm. included you couldn't wear a jacket over your uh, uniform, even if you were cold. Uh, but you know, had a classmate, little, little skinny, skinny, skinny stick of a person. He was very cold in class one day. Uh, also our teacher had the windows wide open, even though he was really cold. Uh, and then she starts yelling at him, jacket off, Marco, jacket off right <gasps> now. 
and then he's well. he looks at her confused and all the other dudes are like wait wait what 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 and then he like slowly starts taking his jacket off and then she just keeps encouraging it but really angry just going jacket off marco take it off faster jacket off fa and then all Damn. of us were just like oh, pretty good my god anyway <laughs> chat chose the next voicemail and they chose <laughs> mario lyrics <laughs> Oh, All right, so here is my crazy. lyrics to the Super Mario World theme. Here we go. My name is Mario, and I'm a famous lover. I am a super pro. My name is Mario. Do, 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 do. That is because my name is Mario. Thanks for show. Love you guys. Bye, numbers. I love, I love that part of the <laughs> part of the lyrics are just like the do do do. Why'd you give up there? Yeah. That's awesome. No, he was feeling like, the music. That's what Yeah, happened. that's artistic yeah. right there. That's that's, that's a breakdown. That's the breakdown. Yeah. A real Not Jason a Mraz. Mm. <laughs> it's pretty uh, good. I mean, those are probably the lyrics. Like if we're being honest. That's yeah. why that's why the movie got delayed. They needed to get a hold right. of this guy. Mm. Uh Jess, please pick the next voicemail. I'm intrigued by Tonight. Oh, I was going to say this for last, but here we go. Because tonight will be the night tonight. I'll die oh. on that sick flow oh, over a gun. Don't make me change my mind. I want to live to die or not. Oh, caller. What happened? Uh, tonight's the yeah, what happened? that I will exit flow. That's pretty good. Fantastic. Yeah, that's... Uh... Mm. Uh, you get mad at that. We we have a lot of callers that wind up singing on the show. Uh, we actually had sure, a call. Sure. For some reason, it was directed at Jess, and <gasps> the caller said, "Dear Jess, I don't think people should sing on the voicemail dump truck. Why would they do that in public?" And then I was very <laughs> confused as to like, why are they telling Jess this? Yeah, how, I don't. How cause... dare I? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, can't you tell everyone not to sing? Yeah. Also, this is not public. Yeah, well, this I mean, this is a safe else. space. To yeah, sing. we're not streaming. We're not posting this. No, no, no. On no one YouTube. can see yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. I propose we do an all musical episode where every voicemail Oof. has somebody singing in it. Careful Wait, what you yes. wish for. No, okay, yeah. What yeah. episode is this technically? What have you done? What have you fucking 20, done? 19, 20? It, it, it can just be me and Jan if people Around don't want to be involved. You know, in Buffy the Vampire Slayer, it took them like six seasons to eventually get to the musical episode. Yeah. What about the puppets? Can we do an all puppets episode? Oh, do not shit. do not tempt me. I fucking love puppets. Mm, I was yeah. so mad at my yeah, last yeah, boss because oh, he told yeah. me I couldn't have a puppet show. What? Oh, son oh, of God a bitch. Anyway, that, that was me. No, no, no shit. No, not you. Not you. You would green light a puppet it. show. Yeah, I would. Uh, Jason. Yeah. Thinking about you. What's uh? What was, what was the nice voicemail? Oh, uh, Christian moms. <laughs> Shouts out to Christian in your moms. area. Yep. Hey, this is Joe from Ohio. I don't I don't know if you guys just willed this into existence or what, but I just no. saw a car today that had a this Christian mom hates Garfield bumper sticker. What? Just something to think about. That's it. <laughs> that hey, that's you, something Colin. that's a, no no no. That's just <laughs> that's something violence. to fucking think about. That's something to get get fucking rallied behind. This Christian that's, mom. Yeah, that is this Garfield. Christian mom. I thought oh, violence shit. was not a part they, of that. They That's park just violence. Just, they park and it's just some like twenty-eight-year-old punk rocker guy. <laughs> just, God yeah. Damn it. yeah, yeah, God who just wants those weird yeah. stickers? <laughs> yeah, that's what that is. That's what that is. Um, yeah, Mr. that that's fucked up, Mister Bacalar. The next voicemail, sir. Uh, yep. Okay, go for it. I just want to hear what this tired of the disrespect that MP3 is all about. Nice. Like. All right. I almost chose that one. All right. You got me. Yo, I clicked on it. What's up, Giant Bomb Crew? I just want to let you know I'm tired of the fucking disrespect oh, that shit. goes on with Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2. Those oh, are clearly it's true. It's the true. best Sonic games ever created. You could take animals that you found in, in the game and fucking, fucking combine Fuck them with them. cow. And then you could take the memory card of the Dreamcast controller and play a separate Chow game and fucking big the cat. Are you are you guys kidding right. me? Get get serious. Get real. Right. See you guys. 
Bye. See you. Th- Thank Eddie you, caller. caller. I didn't mean to like, you know, open up this can of worms, but uh, I guess you know. I mean, we we, we can keep the can of, can of worms ajar. Uh, yeah, I feel like I don't. You know, like it's pretty inescapable oh, yeah. that those two games in particular are absolute shit. Right? Like, you want to have a debate about early Sonic? Like, okay, fine. I at least see why someone might think that. Um, confidence but like Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2 the idea of going to bat especially Sonic Adventure 1 like are you fucking well, kidding you know, me are you fucking uh, kidding me right so oh. alright well look you know let's just kind of slowly tiptoe out of that alright well, well the Later. alarm sounds uh, Jeff if you can pick the next voicemail yeah sure how about showertech.mp3 <laughs> showertech another Full of discourse one, I have a feeling. Uh, this, um, you know, we talked a lot about uh, uh, tech on, on the show, right? Like uh, uh, PP Tech, and this mm-hmm. is uh, sure. <laughs> tangential to PP Tech. Okay. It's actually yeah, been gentle. maybe two is, is episodes. This, is this golden tech. shower tech? Like, wait, what are we getting into here? Okay, I would preface that for sure. Got it. Okay. Um, Thank you. We, we, it's been a while since we've talked about PP. What's up, Dumper? How is it? I got a three question for you. Part one. Is it okay to be in the shower? Part two. Fuck yeah, is dude. Is it okay to sit down in the shower? And part three. How long do I have to wait to sit down in the shower after I've pissed in the shower? <laughs> Thanks. Um, Bye. Very good. Thank I don't you. know about that third part, but you know what? I, I, I've been known to lay down in a shower. You're so tall, uh, though. Yeah, it what is. kind so of shower? It, 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 it's, it's it's a big shower. It's a long I, ass I shower. Know. It's a nice. long ass shower. Nice. Um, I I'm not f- stretched fully out, but oh, uh, okay, the, okay. But yeah, Did I curl up um, in the fetal position, laying down in the shower. That, that kind no, of thing? It, it was a it was a kind of yeah, a little bit like that. I remember one time yeah. that I had a bunch of people over. We were streaming some some fucking shitty ass games anyway. Uh, Dan Riker was like, "Why is Jason uh, passed out in the shower?" And uh, and uh, Ben Hansen was like, "What if what if I needed to go take a big poop?" And then that's how Ben Hansen got the name Big Poop from <laughs> from Dan Hansen. So so did Dan, Dan, Dan Hansen Dan Hansen, Hansen Dan Dan, Dan, Dan Riker Dan yeah Dan Dan Hansen. Uh Dan Riker gave uh, Ben Hansen the name Big Poop. So has Dan Riker seen you nude? Is my question. Maybe it's possible. It's possible. I, it's possible lot, many people have been there, there's been a lot of back and forth discourse about wiping tech and stuff recently with Dan Riker yeah. So oh yeah he like fucking he, he rolled it up like a mummy and not even yeah. that he stands to wipe I don't know it's a whole complex it's thing and I'm just like it's weird. why does everybody even know this stuff why is everyone barging in on everybody and, and here you are saying that Dan friends. Riker is, is good, reporting that you are passed out in a shower passed out in a shower uh, were you passed out and yeah yeah I was passed out uh, ah. and, and then Ben Hansen had to take a big poop I feel like yeah. men boys what's going yeah. on that's weird. You know, as long as you're not pooping in a coffee maker, like, this is yeah. fucking all good. No, 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 no the, not at all. The thi- so, the shower, uh, so for, I th- we should do the right thing and answer the question as a caller, right? Yes. Like, yes, you can pee in the shower. Yeah, let's course. go around the table real quick. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, like, yes. laying down in the shower is not my personal fucking cup of tea, but, like, obviously, would, I don't know if I would lay down in the shower after peeing in the same shower after session. After peeing? Like, oh, yeah. it depends on how good your aim is, right? Goes, like, if you're right peeing directly the into the fucking drain, yeah. Yeah. you know, then I think whatever. Right? I think my first, uh, the first thing I'm, I'm sort of rejecting is maybe laying down in the shower to begin with. Like this is not a thing I want to do. Um, oh sure, I'll never but sometimes I'm sorry, Jess. You, sometimes yeah. you gotta lay down. I feel like if I'm sitting down in the shower, it's because of something I did. Things went wrong. Yeah, I things went yeah. wrong. Time. That's, uh, <laughs> that's, my, only... that's my entire. Yeah, life. And I would say like things have gone so awry at that point. If I am sitting down in the shower to just like I don't know yep. have a good cry or fucking figure shit out, that if I happen to also be sitting in piss, it's like yeah, of course I am. Yeah, no, of course, <laughs> course I am. Yeah. Yep. I deserve yep. this. I deserve this. <laughs> Um, yeah, I sit true, I sit down in true. the shower occasionally. That's how you get, get wash your legs and stuff, you know? Huh. Sure. No, no, it's yeah. no, it's it's a way. Is it? Yeah. It's, it's a way. one way to do it. Yeah. It's how you shave your legs sometimes. 
There you go. There my, you go. My shower here has a, uh, you can, there's like a ledge you can sit on, which mm -hmm. is actually kind of nice. nice. Not getting all the way down on the floor, which is very, mm -hmm. it, which I like is very that. fancy. Mm -hmm. I will I'm say. I'm a big yeah. fan of those little like old, old people mobility shelves you can sit on in a, in a shower. Yeah. I feel like they should all have that. Uh, this is, let this me lay down. Let me lay down. It's, it's fucking a, I've never been in a shower big filth. enough that I can lay down in it. But then again, I'm like six feet tall almost. Well, I'm <laughs> six, four. I, I, I have laid it? down in a damn shower. Yeah, that's a called a pool. Of how yeah. luxurious your you need a is. picture of yeah. me laying down no, naked in the shower. Of I could your yeah. shower size. I could really? fit ten people in my really? shower. I think ten no. people. It's standing. Who? Um, cool. no. So. so who are the Basically previous like, owners so, of your house? Andy. I don't. So the the it is crazy. It is one of the reasons I was like, we need to fucking buy this fucking house. So it, it's a sliding <laughs> a door, ten person shower. And in it, you walk into a room, and in that room is the toilet, a gigantic jacuzzi style bathtub, and sure. then the shower is also just there. And so the floor of that whole room is the floor of the shower. Nice. Huh. It's got a drain in it and all this oh. other stuff. And so how they like, do it in so Japan, but yeah, small. well, yeah, but like, but like big, but like yeah, it's how they do it in Japan, but also big, and it's fucking weird. Um, <gasps> Um, and so, like, I can just sit on the ledge of the bathtub, basically, because it's right okay. there. Sure. So, like, and... I went to, like, some rich person's house in Austin, Texas once, and Brag they had it, this, uh, it was fucking cool. Uh, actually, it wasn't, because uh, they were so, like, Silicon Valley, Austin, Texas style, they were programmers, mm. at that, like, you know, it was a goofy, like, house made by an architect. Uh, all of the walls just looked like, like, in a hallway, for example, it just looked like walls with panels all the way down. but those were all rooms and you had to like click in the door and it was seamless. And so as a result, you have no idea where the bathroom is in the fucking place. But anyway, I went to take a shower in this place and I was like, okay, where's the, where's the shower? I get pointed down to like, oh, it's the seventh panel on the left or something. Of course. Click, click it in, shoo, comes open. And it's this huge room that's like freaking 20 by 20. And it's just like black tile on the floor, slightly curved down. It had one of those waterfall uh shower heads in the middle very large but that was like it and the controls for it were all the way over there on the other side of the room so you're just standing in this room freezing. naked waiting for everything to warm up it's freezing there's no place to put your soap your shaving materials your shampoo it's just the middle of the fucking room and there's a big window out to the backyard and it's like i've never felt so exposed in my life <laughs> all right well yeah <clears throat> terrible uh, that's God enough damn. shower talk for uh, one episode. Um, I gave my pick to the audience, and they chose Ric Flair. Oh. Hey, 3AM boys, this is Brad from Florida. Uh, just driving back from my, visiting my parents in Tampa. Uh, they recently learned apparently Ric Flair lives there. Um, I'm happy to say that he seems to be doing well. Uh, the impression I've gotten from listening to you guys on the bombcast is definitely that uh, he's had some troubles, but seems like he's doing better. They saw him at like a fancy grocery store or something. Um, my, my dad got a picture of him. He was a big fan of WWF. Uh, he had a bunch of jewelry on, which was just covered in diamonds, very on character. And um, what my mom thought was like a religious figure, like a crucifix or a Christ or something. But then my dad explains, no, that's him in his cape. Just like that's right. just literally just he's wearing a necklace of himself with sure. a cape that's made of diamonds and gold. Amazing. Um, also, he has a boat, and the boat is just, the, the name of the boat is just Woo, yeah. which uh, yeah. also yes. very on brand, nice. very good. So uh, happy to say, at least on the surface, uh, Rick Flair's doing well. Okay. Uh, take care of yourself. Fuck yeah. Ooh, okay. I love the Ric Flair check-in. Yeah. Ric yes. Flair update. I that feel was, like that was going to be my next pick. I'm I, glad we got to that. Yeah. I, I feel like if you wanted to say one thing about Ric Flair over the last, let's say, oh, I don't know, 30 years. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, on the surface, Ric Flair looks like he's doing well. Right. Yeah. As you see him in right. countless fucking hotel bars. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's drinking fucking exorbitant amounts he's of, figuring it out. of alcohol. Yeah. Yes. Yes, he's doing he's great. Getting, it happen. He's getting it done. You yeah. Know? He yeah. Started, he's, got, he's got a new podcast. A new yeah. podcast. I didn't know this. Yeah. God dang. God dang. All right, everybody. This is the final round. Oh. Final voicemail. Oh, man. Jess, start okay. with you. Okay. Mm, baby. That MP3. What? Okay. Energel, baby. 
Thank you, caller. Thank what you, you caller. Energel, baby. Energel? Energel. Pens. What's that? Pens. That, that what? Oh, pen talk? Oh, pens. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. What, did, right. was there, is there a history of that? I don't understand. Uh, I was talking about my partner's pen usage, uh, and yeah. there was like quite a lot oh, of sure. different pens. Um, anyway, Jason, Energy. final We're just, pick. We're just friends. Oh, you picked a twofer. There we go. Nice. Hi, uh, first of all, John, excellent work. I saw that you picked my question for the show last week. Uh, it was on the short list there. And unfortunately, you were let down. We are colleagues who chose not to... Um, Oh, to listen, but hey, fucking that's their fault, isn't it? They're not going to know about the I guy guess who so. was actually attracted to the wee things from Rayman. Uh, anyway, <laughs> my question is, who is your like weirdest friend that you know for the weirdest reason? For instance, I am friends with someone who lives on the other side of the world because they accidentally sent me a link to their Ring video doorbell. Um, and mm. now we exchange emails every holiday season. So, yeah, there you are. Oh. Thanks again, nice. John. Fuck all the rest oh. of you. Thank you, uh, caller. Fuck the rest of us? Uh, thank you, caller. But uh, my, my weirdest friend is, uh, his name is Jay. Um, there was a, there was a one time that Bob had fallen asleep, ass up in the air. Ass up in the air, fucking... Mm. Wearing only boxers. I don't like this. And uh, the, the boxers had, had fallen down like halfway down his 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 ass crack. So the, there was probably a good three to four inches of ass crack um, available. Not available, but uh, oh, it's just, the, just showing. Is this the story uh, about throwing like tater tots in there or something? So we put tater tots. <laughs> In Bob's ass crack. See, I pay attention. <laughs> and they're, yeah, they, they, they ran about four taters tots deep, give or take. Um, and uh, yeah, we just kind of left him in his room uh, to wake up uh, with tater tots in his ass crack. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Did he follow That's, up with you guys on, on that? No, there okay. was never a mention See, I, I thought this was more, I'm going to answer this vis-a-vis -vis, uh, no. the weirdest person, like the we weirdest way you've met a person. Mm. And I made a friend mm. through the no. um, that that uh, 3DS pass thing where you oh, pass wow. by people oh, wow. and you pick each other up on the, yeah. on the thing. Street pass. But I went on, yeah, street pass, that's the word, thank you. Yep. Um, but yeah, I went on the Staten Island Ferry one day and I street passed somebody named uh, Sarah. And uh, oh, no. she, I forget what she was playing at the time, but you could say something like one little sentence to each other. And it was her website where she reviews games and stuff. And I was like, oh, I got to this is two ships passing in the night. Yeah, here, I yeah, so I followed her on Twitter and like we hung out and stuff like that. And oh, I still hang Sarah. out with her. That's cool. So I still hang out with her when I uh, visit New York. And she's really cool. <laughs> uh, That's very neat. I want to talk about my weirdest friend. That's and not weird. He's... Mm. Shouts out to Young Kev uh, from the Deli Gang. Uh, Young yeah. Kev uh, is the most interesting person in the world. Um, one time we got very inebriated at a bar and he was like, yo, January, uh, I bet you, he lived up a hill, by the way. Like, I bet you I can stop getting drunk if I run up this hill and ho get home. And no. No. Uh, uh, a friend that was the DD that night was like, Kevin, just get in the car. We can drop you off home. And he insisted, like, no, 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 I'm going to run up this hill. I'm not going to get drunk anymore. And then so yeah, me and, been there. me and the DD friend, we, we go up the hill, and it's a very tall hill in, in San Francisco. He, sure. And then we're waiting up there, and then he is, he is you can hear him sprinting puffing. and huffing and puffing. Uh, and he is like a kind of a pale dude. And then when he uh, gets up to the top, He's like, January, I'm sober now. I told you, bro. And then he just vomits. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get yeah. it all out. Get yes. it all out. Yeah. Perfect punchline. Uh, wow. Young Kev and I also, uh, when I was no longer with the Delhi gang, but I was still affiliated, uh, he was like, yo, January. No, 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 no. I, I just had to leave yeah, the Delhi gang. <sighs> yeah. Uh, yo, no, they're still going. They're yeah. still going. Still going strong. Yo, January, I need help uh, catering a wedding. And then him and I proceeded to uh, do catering. 
uh, for a gay wedding at a CrossFit gym. Um, nice. Wow! Where right. one of the guests showed up in full leather garb. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I uh, miss living in a city. <laughs> oh, Only in big right. city, I swear. I miss living in the city. Uh, we'll play Weirdest Friends 2, but we don't have to follow up with it. Right, Luke, I'm sorry. I need to ask this question again because I, I have to hear an answer. Uh, I met a guy once at a party who told me that he, he really gets off, uh, and I mean that in the grossest way, he really sure. gets off on those wee things uh, who are stuck in cages in Rayman. Mind you, have what? to punch the cage and they all jump out and go, hey, and they're like, whoa, got a great yeah. glasses with them. Um, big mad hair. Anyway, he fancies them and I think I should call the police. What do you think? Thanks. Bye. Thank you, caller. That's a lot. He fancies a lot. them. <laughs> Jeff Bacalar, if you could pick your last voicemail, sir. We've not done ER, have we? No. No. Then let's do it. I just ER. The story came up. Hey, Dom Birds. It's Woman calling from Belgium. Uh, last episode, people asked two, two questions. What's the stupid thing you did as a child and did you ever come close to dying? Well, when I was six or seven, we were, we were visiting uh, our neighbors with my parents, and I was playing with the kids in the backyard, uh, what you heard for uh, talking inside, I think. And uh, there was an apple tree in the backyard, so we took turns trying to go into branches to make apples fall, but uh, we were unsuccessful, so I came up with, uh, with a very white idea. There was a pile of bricks uh, lying in the backyard, so I thought, hey, why not uh, for a brick uh, instead of a ball to make the apples fall? And uh, what happened as a... Um, as a result, is that uh, the brick was fell right back on my head, oh. and uh, I was washed to the, to the ER with uh, blood gushing from my head. Like, like oh, shit. Get. So that was my story. Bye. 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 <laughs> my God. <laughs> I, I like that uh, uh, the voicemail dump truck is worldwide and can help people unpack uh, uh, previous trauma. Uh, yeah. But then they'll kindly sign off by going, bye. Hi. Hi. Here's that yeah. horrible gem of a story. Bye. Like, I've been carrying this around. It's not really weighing on me that much these days, but I feel like someone needs to hear it anyway. <laughs> Bye. Uh, um, I'm trying to think. Uh, as a child, I it's why I'm also currently still very uneasy around knives. Um, I cut myself real bad by accident pieces. when Sorry. I was. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. uh, this is my last resort. Um. When I was maybe, a, I was a little older, right? So I almost like don't really have the excuse of just being a dumb little idiot. Uh, I was maybe like 10 or 11 and I attempted to close a Swiss army knife the wrong way. Oops. Oh. Right. So like, you know, basically uh -huh. like, you know, went the opposite way on the sharp yep. end. And yep. uh, that fucked my shit up so bad. Like it fucked my brain up in a way that it took me years to just even hold like a butter knife. I'm mean, it, it was just because I remember uh, this. Uh, if you're squeamish, I'm I'm sorry, but like I just remember pushing into it, and you don't feel pain right away, right? And Not then the sharp. knife like stopped because it just wasn't gonna go all the way through. Ugh. And I just remember being like, that's and weird oh my god what have i done <laughs> uh so yeah you know uh you, after years of therapy i've finally uh been able to look a knife in the face again and now um, you're a hibachi chef and, and now i do tricks and i have i stream hibachi on twitch nice. so um i've come full circle yeah thank you thank thank you jeff jeff gersman if you could Executioner pick. wait. Oh, MP3. You would love this. You would love this. Okay, so I like called like a week or two ago, and I I was really fucking high. Okay. Uh, Jeff, you also won the longest voicemail of the sh of the episode. Okay. Oh, congrats! Okay. All right, yay! Yeah. I was watching hey, WrestleMania one. This is why I was high. Well, first and one. And it was a fight. One. I forgot. But it was one of them was the Executioner. Yeah. And they didn't know where he was from, and they didn't know how much he weighed. How did they not know care. how much he weighed? Was he just, like, waving his fucking... Does he have, like, an executioner? What are they called? A halberd or a fucking axe? He's just waving like that thing question. around. And, like, I also lost my shit because in the middle of trying to call you guys and ask about it, they showed that guy King Kong, and he just looks like a giant... He's like King the Kong giant, Bundy, yes. whitest Thank you. man. In the history of existence. 
Watching WrestleMania fucking stone is awesome. But the question is, why don't we know the executioner's weight? He didn't stick really around. He didn't stick around for that shit. That's fine. But why did his weight, like, put the man no. on a scale? I'm <laughs> sure he'll be fine unless he's self-conscious about it. In which case, he's self-conscious know, about it. So we don't want that kind of stuff. Cut him back. Thank you. Have a good day to everyone at the bomb, the bomb cat. Yes, that's Bob. awesome. Com. Sure. The bomb Close group. enough. Yeah. Go bomb. Nailed it. <laughs> Go bomb. Go bomb. <laughs> <laughs> no, they they, they could they could not keep him on a scale for the amount of time that it takes to weigh a man. You'd have to a get some man. zookeepers to like put him in like yes. a Tupperware and fucking a two hundred and seventy one pounds. Oh, give well, or there take. you go, caller. Give or take. Yeah. Oh, never oh, bomb. Give or take. Uh, it's Playboy Buddy Rose under a hood. Oh, is, uh, seriously? Yeah. So that's uh, there's. Yeah, I mean he. That's well, like the, King he, Kong Bundy. How how much did he weigh? Oh, I don't know. I'm not gonna look that up. This well, is years. On. This is for years before they like Buddy Rose put on quite a bit of weight, and they did that whole Buddy Rose blow away diet skit and all this other weird. Oh, shit. for fuck's sake! Yeah. Um, oh God, he was always overweight. Yeah, yeah, but uh, they they build weight according to Wikipedia, 271 pounds. There you okay. go. There okay. you okay. have it. So at some point right. they got him on a scale, but yeah, I mean he's an executioner. You, you can fucking like you, you know you ask him to get on a scale and he just goes, Rrr. and you go, yeah. okay, all right, right, we don't know. Right. Oh, all right, we'll never find part, out. He's from parts unknown. I uh, love and, that. And the final voicemail is HBD. Uh, I am picking this one. Hey, three AM boys and three AM girl. Uh, last week you were talking about near death experiences. I just wanted to say is that about a year ago I I got hit by a truck. Me physically, my person, was hit by a truck. Luckily, the worst thing is it dislocated and shattered my shoulder. Yeah. Uh, and I didn't die, thankfully, obviously. Uh, anyways, um, Jan, you're probably the only person that's going to hear this. If you could just wish me a happy birthday, like from where you're sitting, just in your office, just be like, happy birthday, Travis. I, I'll get it through the ether somehow. All right, but I uh, love y'all. Y'all have a good day. Bye. Yeah. Thank you, caller. Happy birthday to that. Uh, Happy birthday, Travis. Yeah, tremendous. Yeah, Travis. Glad um, you won the fight against yeah. the truck. Glad you yeah, kicked truck. that truck's ass. Fuck that truck. Yeah. yeah. Kill that Fuck truck. Yeah, Travis. Truck. If if uh, your girlfriend or your wife is around, Travis, you, I thank you for saving me that one time. Mm. You are the best human being, and thank you for giving me a dollar for the vending machine that other time. Also, you were allowed to fuck that truck. Just oh, fuck it. Just Stephen fuck King that once truck. wrote. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Fuck that truck. Okay. Well, those are the voices. Right. I'm gonna put call in and over the call other one next week and tell us about the trucks you fucked. Yep. At, uh, 707 exit flu. What's the worst truck you've ever fucked? What's the worst truck? What's the ugliest oh. truck? Put a sheet oh, over that truck. Shit. Oh, oh, happy birthday, Travis. Better fuck the up. place you you've ever fucked the truck. What's the truckiest fuck you've ever trucked? What's the most injured you've gotten fucking a truck? Yeah. No, oh, uh, let me tell you. Buckle right. up and listen to truck fucking stories. All right, truck fuckers. <laughs> All right, gonna, truckle fucks. You truckle fucks. That's going to do it for the show. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. No, I already talked about the... Uh, yeah, 707 right. exit flu. Yep. <laughs> yeah, 707 <laughs> exit flu is your hotline for the hardest core truck fucking <laughs> on the planet. Ooh, wah, ah, ah, ah. Hang on. It's... Ooh, ah, ah. There, it goes. Oof, there it is. Feels my, good. It's underneath my, my mail, so on. I have to pick up my mail and go. Oh, still shit. On. Yeah, yeah, here they, they are. are.